Well, as all of you guys know, I don't usually do off-the-cuff videos like this, but there is a time and a place for them, and that time and place right now is today. So what are we talking about? There is huge news dropped by Catalyst Studios, or Catalyst Game Labs, uh, who have been working on Battletech as a tabletop game in both the form of classic Battletech and Alpha Strike. They also distribute all of the novels and source material for the games. And they have put out a their timeline, and they're showing off new models, though so some of them are not completely as per-finished as they will be showing them off here. Uh, I'm going to be doing this video very quickly just to give you guys my thoughts, and to inform all of you as to what is to come. First of all, they talk about having a big restock on their website, that's, near, that's not really what we're talking about today. Today we are talking about Redemption Rights, as you can now see on the screen. Uh, a Battletech novel by Jason Schmetzer. And what is this novel going to be about? Well, it's about the Wolf's Dragoons in the new era of the Ilkhan era. The Wolf's Dragoons, for those of you who are not aware, are an incredibly powerful and successful mercenary unit. They are related to the clans. They diverged from them some time ago in the timeline about 100 years prior. Uh, they sought to reclaim some of their honor by siding with the Ilkhan of the wolves as he invaded Terra to destroy the Republic of the Sphere. They were used up, they were chewed up, they were basically left horribly broken and battered, and when they turned to the new Ill Clan for aid, all that they got was 32 silver pieces and they were told to get the hell off of Terra. So unfortunately, uh, they were badly misused by Clan Wolf and this is a new novel talking about the aftermath of that, where they're gonna have a new leader and they are going to have a chance for revenge. It's going to be an interesting read. I'm probably going to do a review of it on the channel. I'm interested in this. Then we've got, of course, Land of Dreams, Founding of the Clans Trilogy, Volume 3. This is another Battletech novel uh, that's expected to come out in May 2022. By the way, Redemption Rights is coming out this month in April. Uh, not sure what to think of this one inherently. I'm not quite as interested in the founding of the clans, but uh, this will be an interesting read for everyone who's deeply, deeper into clan lore. I may pick this up at a much later point, whereas I am going to pick up Redemption Rights basically upon release, either as a digital or physical copy. Uh, they're going to be re-releasing several of the Dark Age novels for MechWarrior Dark Age. They weren't particularly popular, but if you're a completionist, they are a good buy. Then we've got Shrapnel episode nine. Sorry, Shrapnel issue nine. Shrapnel are short stories issued out by Catalyst Games that are basically included in these compendiums. Uh, so they have multiple authors and they go over multiple things. So more Shrapnel uh, by established and new BattleTech authors and new game material. Uh, premium miniatures are going to have a new Timberwolf model. Very cool. So expect to see this out relatively soon in June 2022. BattleTech companion app. I have no idea what this is going to be, but this sounds interesting. Update the Battletech Tactical Companion app, now primarily focused on increased content. The first this spring will include all record sheets corresponding to Wave 1 of the Clan Invasion Kickstarter, while the summer will see Wave 2 record sheets included. Basically, it's uh, like their version of uh, being able to play... It, it makes facilitating the game easier by having it track your damage and certain rules on the tabletop very helpful. Uh, Empire Alone, this is a book I've been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was originally slated to be out for quarter two, which means April, May, or June. The official release date now, though, puts it into July. Uh, I am very excited for this book. I'm a little disappointed it's running a month behind, but at the end of the day, I am excited enough not to care. Uh, this is going to be a day one purchase for me. Uh, I very much want to get this either in digital or physical form, depending on what I have available to me. It is about the Free Worlds League fighting against Clan Wolf. Uh, so in this case, it's from the new Ilkhan era again. From the new Ilkhan, on Terra comes word to the Wolf Empire of their clan's victory. With no further communication from Alaric Ward, Star Colonel Othar takes the reins of the Empire, attempting to weather the assault from his neighbors and ensure the Ilkhan's realm remains inviolate. Hungrily eyeing their world's loss to the Empire, now stripped of the Wolves' best. Factions within the Free Worlds League launch an offensive ac across the border and risk carrying Nicole Merrick into a war she may not be ready for. At her back, the Spirit Cats and Clan Seafox lair in their clan protectorate, eager to pursue their own ends. 
And out among the stars, the Wolstergoons and their new commander are on the hunt. By the way, they want revenge. <laughs> <laughs> so Empire Alone basically documents the conflict that emerges between the Free Worlds League and the Wolf Empire, documenting 3151 through to 3152. I'm very excited to read this. I want to read this. Uh, I will be getting it. They've got new tactical oper- well, they've got reprints of tactical operations, which are several unit and equipment books coming out with different alternate covers. Very, very nice. Uh, then we also have counters pack. These are helpful uh, if you're basically wanting to have counters to help you track different elements of the game. Very helpful. They come in hex format. We've got Question of Survival, another Battle Tech novel coming out in the summer, uh, which is going to be about, it looks like, the free Rossel Hag. Dem- uh, sorry, the new con seeks the warriors he needs across enemy lines, mounting a daring raid on the Rosselhag Dominion uh, world of Corel. There, the young Dominion warriors in training attempt to navigate their realm's internal strife and learn their dreams of glory as ghost bears may be dashed by f- by a future none of them expect. Could be interesting. I'm a ghost bear fan. I, I wouldn't mind seeing this. Uh, so technical readout dark age. This is, uh, for those of you who are new to Battletech, a technical readout is a complete sheet, uh, breaking down all of the elements of the battle mechs in each era that they cover. And then gives you a deep dive into, in terms of where they're manufactured, who fields and deploys them and what the overall capability is, as well as who designed them in terms of individuals or companies and who builds and supplies them. Very interesting stuff. If you really want to deep dive the lore not just this technical readout, any technical readout is where you want to go to get the most up-to-date and accurate information on individual mech designs. The Damocles Sanction? I, another novel. They're just churning out the novels right now. Uh, First Prince Julian Davian and Prince's champion Eric Sandoval Grohl prepare to reclaim the Federated Sun's capital. For those of you who don't know, the Draconis Combine recently procured some real estate on a world called New Avalon, which is the capital of the Federated Sons. They went through, they captured the capital from the Federated Sons and humiliated them in the process. Uh, now the uh, Federated Sons are kind of desperate to really reassemble their, their falling apart empire and a big part of that relies on them launching offensives. They've already launched an offensive against the Capellan Confederation, and now they're launching an offensive against uh, the Draconis Combine in a desperate attempt to really pull themselves back together because things are very dire for the Federated Sons. And finally, we have an Alpha Strike box set, which is going to be including a bunch of stuff in it, basically helping them to promote the system of Alpha Strike, which is a simpler to play version of Battletech and more easily allows you to play with more models. I prefer classic Battletech, but I want to try this out and it is a good game. Uh, but uh, this is going to include their rule book, 13 high quality, fully assembled miniatures, including two new redesigned miniatures, the Wraith and the Pouncer, very cool, and seven all new variants in new poses. So this will include new models models in it. Very nice. Third quarter 2022. So this should be out in late summer through fall unless there are delays which you can always rely on delays. Uh, 32 page rule book which you'll need to play the game. 24 page novella. Uh, 16 page universal primer. Uh, 13 alpha strike cards. 13 pilot cards. 25 battlefield support cards. One heavy stock reference sheet. Two punch board of trees and game counters. Uh, nine smold uh, smold nine small fold cardboard buildings six medium fold up cardboard buildings and two dice uh definitely will be interesting and again look for this in the third quarter and we've got another episode another issue of shrapnel that will be coming in september 2022 and finally we get to the real meat here forgive me for making this video so long but there's just so much to cover they are going to be launching a series of new mech boxes these images are not completely accurate as to what we will be seeing but as you can see there, right here, we have the, uh, we have the Aerodeni Light Horse. They're going to be including brand new mechs and new poses for mechs that already exist in these box sets that they're going to be attempting to promote uh, for all of this stuff. Where the, the Hanson's Rough Riders one is not the most up to date, but it has a jumping hatchet man. And sorry, it has a jumping hatchet man and a new enforcer, as well as a penetrator and an atlas. Uh, then we're going to go to the... Now, some of these are also, quickly noted, only available in certain areas. So, for instance, Erendani Light Horse, Hunter Lance, it's gonna, you're gonna have to get it through Barnes & Noble. It's not like Games Workshop. There is no unified distribution scene in the same way. Uh, they're not 
competitors in that way. They don't have their own stores. They don't have their, they do have some warehousing, I'm sure, but like, it's just a different method of distribution. So for these guys, they are going to only be able to be bought through Barnes and Noble in fall of 2022. Hanson's Rough Riders. These guys are going to be available only through Alliance Game Distributors. I'm not sure who those are or if that's a main distribution channel who helps out retailers, but uh, I'll have to look into that. Again, this is a very cool lance. Hanson's Rough Riders, one of my favorite mercenary units. They themed these lances on that, and so you're going to have a reposed Atlas, a new variant of the Enforcer, which is not the one that's necessarily there, uh, but it might be. Uh, they've got a Jumping Hatchet Man, and uh, they're also going to have the penetrator which is that guy there i believe in a repost atlas northwind highlanders these guys are going to be through acd distribution which i believe is the no it's a different distributor this time uh and these guys that's not an atlas they're getting so they're going to be getting a new gunslinger the atlas is just a holdover image uh, a repose jumping Highlander, so that is going to be a different model there. A uh, new variant of the Grasshopper and Warhammer, no assembly required. So again, you're getting all of those there. And finally, we're going to, well, not finally, we've got uh, the Kelhound Striker Lance. Again, fall. This one is only going to be available on the Catalyst Games Lab web store. Uh, this is going to include, again, a Night Sky, a reposed Wolfhound, a griffin and a jumping crusader. The jumping crusader is amazing. I got to get a couple of these because I want to build a capellan unit with a jumping crusader. That would be absolutely spectacular. Uh, finally, we're going to get into some of the last stuff here. You've got Dominions Divided. This is a source book really documenting what's going to be happening with the Federated Sons. Definitely worth your read. I'm not going to read through the entire thing in this case, but it's going to be covering mostly what's happening to the Federated Sons as they take on the Draconis Combine. And it's going to cover the instability in the Rossel Hague Dominion, which may have some conflict in it as well. Very much interesting. I will be picking this up, but it is in the fourth quarter 2022. And then we've got Battletech Universe, another great one, fourth quarter 2022. It's a primer for the basically almost everything uh, going up to 3150. I would like to get it, even though I'm pretty strong on most of the materials, just for art and just a more in universe uh, material that I would like to get. And then we've got Force Manuals, Battletech Mercenaries Kickstarter. Uh, another Kickstarter is seemingly going to be taking off pretty soon. That could be very interesting. I would like to see what they have on. Uh, available for that and then we've got one final mech pack one final mech pack the gray death legion force pack uh again this one's going to be barnes and nobles sorry barnes and noble and basically you're going to have the a gargoyle a new version of it a catapult uh which is the ppc catapult uh, which is not a model they make currently make, as well as a sh jumping Shadowhawk, very cool. And then finally, the Regent, which is a battle mech only seen in 3150, is the latest generation mech they have sculpted and will be releasing, but this isn't coming till spring 2023. Uh, I'm very excited for a Kickstarter. I want to see this. I want to see what they have on offer. I will be willing to invest some of my own money into this for obvious reasons. Uh, and I look forward to covering all of this stuff as it comes out with you guys here on my channel. Uh, with that, thank you for joining me here today. Very exciting stuff. Uh, if you have any questions, we do live streams for this type of thing every single day. Uh, and I will see what more information I can come up with for all of this as it becomes available. With that, I'll catch you on the comment section below.